Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 15 of May I Scrap Lift You and today we are scrap lifting the lovely Michelle McCants and she is stamp booker here on YouTube as well as over on Instagram so I'll make sure I have her channel linked down below as well of course as the complete playlist so that you can always go into that playlist and find tons and tons of inspiration and just you know watch all of the videos and I always also have Crystal's channel linked down below because of course uh, May I Scrap Lift You is her lovely brainchild so this is also a Build-A-Page layout. Now, I'm pre-recording this way in advance, so I'm not sure whether it's going to be layout one, two, three. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> um, but it is definitely a Build-A-Page layout. It's the first one that I'm actually doing this month. But as I say, I'm doing this on the 2nd of May. So I'm using this lovely kit that I put together and this was a carryover kit with uh papers from a uh, paper pad that my dear friend Colleen uh brought when she uh and gifted me when she came to visit with Jay last fall I've added this piece of paper which was a leftover from those lovely blue kits that I was using as well as a little bit of simple stories textured cardstock. So we'll look at the end what I have left over because I definitely have enough here to create another page. I'm doing a share today. You can see the layout um, that I'm scrap lifting up here in the corner. Uh, Michelle does the just the, the cutest and the most and the loveliest layouts. She does a lot of layouts which are close to my heart of course of her Puppy Finn Lee, uh, but all sorts of other things as well, of course. So here is the layout. Now you can see that Michelle used a pattern paper as the background. She framed her layout, which I did as well, of course. I gutted um, that lovely paper here. I gutted that and then used that as my frame. I then went in to get some of the whipped cream cardstock and I wanted to mimic uh, the pattern paper that Michelle used as her background but I did because I had some different patterns here I wanted to use uh, a whipped cream cardstock on my background so I went into my large 12 by 12 stencils from Scrapping Reflections Sandy Shop I'll put that down below as well and got this lovely heart stencil, 12 by 12 heart stencil out, and then just did some stenciling all over that page, of course, except for the middle here, which was going to be covered up. And I used a Stampin' Up ink pad, which is Pale Papaya, which I have a feeling must have been an in color at some point, because it doesn't seem to be there anymore. And it is in the same tones. It's paler for sure, but it's definitely in the same tones. And I like that it was paler on my background because, of course, I didn't want to compete and I didn't want anything too, too busy on the background. But I did want to mimic a little bit the lovely heart paper that Michelle used. Her photo is a four by six landscape. Mine is about a four by five, I guess, sort of a little bit more portrait than landscape. But I think I achieved the same look because likely my strips here are a little bit narrower. So I took this lovely paper and this one, of course, I have quite a bit of this left, as well as the textured cardstock so that it would ground everything. And I used those as my fishtail banner strips here along the vertical. My photo placement is the same. And then I sort of just had some fun embellishing 
uh, fairly similar, at least in, in this corner to the way Michelle did. And I bring my embellishing down here as she did and a little bit of embellishing over here. Um, I did use a doily from my stash. So I did add a few items from my stash here. I mean, the stencil and uh, this lovely uh, little doily. That's an, from, a, again, an older Stampin' Up! set. And I have this little pouch here where I have all my doilies stored. And I'm realizing that I'm running low on colored doilies. So I may have to get a few uh, of the Doodlebug, the small doilies in a variety of different colors. But so I popped my little doily there. And then what I added to this page kit uh, is uh, this Simple Stories Wildflower uh, sticker sheet. And this is the one I think was it last week when I uh, scrap lifted the lovely Mel. I was showing you that layout and I, and I didn't have the sticker sheet with me because I guess I had put it with this layout. And it's Wildflower. It was from a Mercy Tiara kit. Um, sometime last year. So I used uh, three, five different stickers here. This lovely sticker, this floral, these two little squares that I popped in here, as well as this sticker. Oh, and this one as well. So I used quite a few uh, from this sticker sheet. And then I brought in these foam uh, stickers from another Mercy Care. This is from the Celebrate kit, so a fairly recent one, and I use that for the woohoo here. So this, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have to make sure I ask either Christina or Adele. I think this might have been um, Christina's birthday, which is at the end of December. I think that might be what this photo is, but I, if you saw when I put my page kits together with you, um, I have this photo just cropped twice, once for Adela's album and once for Christina's. I then went into my Adventure Await, some of my fussy cut bits, and I popped a ticket, a ticket here, and these two lovely little florals, a uh, Hey Little Magpie Flare, and oh, another couple of stickers actually from the sticker sheet, another sticker here, and another one of the foam stickers. And I love this way. I love the colors. I think they are absolutely just perfect with this lovely photo. Aren't they beautiful? Look at those gals, I swear. And another little foam sticker there. So there you go, my friends. So thank you, Michelle, for the lovely, lovely inspiration. As always, my friends, make sure you pop on over and follow Michelle if by any chance you aren't already. Make sure you go into the playlist down below to catch up on everybody's video. And if you are playing along with us, use the hashtag, hashtag may I scrap lift you so that we can find you. Tag Crystal, tag myself uh, so that we can see what you are doing. Uh, if you are not creating videos and you post on Facebook or Instagram, tag us uh, and use the hashtag as well. And I will see you back here very, very soon with another May I Scrap With You and another Build-A-Page. I will have, of course, all of my Build-A-Page posse down below as well. Let's not forget my lovely friends who play along with me on Build-A-Page. See you back here very, very soon, my friends. Bye for now.